Mastering the when to skip the definite article. Hello, English language learners. Today, we are diving into a fascinating aspect of English grammar, the definite article, they. But specifically, we'll be focusing on the cases where we omit the. Yes, you heard right. There are scenarios where even though it might seem like the should be there, native English speakers often leave it out. So let's get started. Typically, the is used before singular and plural nouns when the noun is specific or particular. For instance, we say the book on the table or the cars in the lot. However, there are exceptions to this rule. Most notably, we omit the when we talk about things in general. For example, when we say dogs are friendly, we don't use the before dogs because we're talking about dogs in general, not any specific dog or group of dogs. Another key area where we often omit the is when talking about places or institutions that are part of our everyday life. These usually include places like school, hospital, church, or prison. For instance, we say, she goes to school, not, she goes to the school, when referring to the general activity of going to school, not a specific school. Remember, the use of the can change the meaning. If we say, he's in the prison, it sounds like he's visiting or working there, not serving time as an inmate. But, he's in prison, means he is serving time. In the world of geography, English often omits the. This includes most names of countries, cities, lakes, and bays. For example, we say, France, not, the France, or, Lake Michigan, not, the Lake Michigan. There are, however, exceptions for country names that are plurals, have a noun in them, or include words like republic, states, or kingdom. In these cases, we use the like in the United States or the United Kingdom. Wow, what a journey. By now, you should have a solid understanding of when to omit the in English. Remember, mastering these nuances will make your English sound more natural and fluent. And don't worry if you don't get it right every time, practice makes perfect. Happy learning and until next time, keep practicing and exploring the wonders of the English language.